Hello friends. So now actually I was talking about granulomas. So we should know that how granuloma will look like on histopathological examination, right? So we can we can notice here, we can notice here this area. What I'm putting star in this area. If you look at this area which I'm encircling, this area is the necrotic area. Necrotic area. How you will identify? This is completely eosinophilic. So this is necrotic area, and when you will see the surrounding areas, you can see small. These are small round mononuclear cells, which are you can see scattered throughout the biopsy. These are all mononuclear, <coughs> mononuclear lymphocytic infiltrate, right? And if you look at this cell, if you look at this cell which I have encircled. You can you can identify there is a there is a small cell and nucleus is at periphery. So these are Langhans giant cell. These are Langhans giant cell. Similarly, you can notice here also one Langhans giant cell. You can notice one more Langhans giant cell, right? So you can see a perfect definition of the granuloma where we are seeing a necrosis and then followed by the mononuclear lymphocytic infiltrate then all these Langhans giant cell where peripheral or horseshoe shape arrangement of nuclei will be seen let us see high power view and this high power view is so beautiful you can uh, you can easily make it out okay, there are some cells which are elongated so you can see this one is elongated cell this one is elongated cell so all these are elongated cells so these are cluster of elongated cells which are epithelioid cells so these are epithelioid cells epithelioid cells now you can you can just have a look on this cell which i'm showing you this one this one cell which i'm encircling this cell you can see peripheral arrangement of the nuclei these are langhans giant cell these are langhans giant cell right again you look at this area when you are looking at this area there is a there is a small mononuclear lymphocytic infiltrate right so these are color of lymphocyte color of lymphocyte so you can see this is a perfect definition of the granuloma we can see we can notice here we can notice here there are epithelioid cells then surrounded by color of lymphocytes then accompanied by giant cells so this is the perfect description of the any granuloma right and as you move to the other areas you will observe there are certain cells so here you, you can you can observe here again there is a different kind of giant cell here you can see here arrangement of nucleus is a haphazard so this is foreign body type of giant cell this is foreign body type of giant cell and now I will show you this is a different kind of a special kind of granuloma now you can see here these are all uh, granulomatous you can see these are all granulomas and if you observe in all these granuloma you you can see that there is no lymphocytic infiltrate or scanty scanty lymphocytic infiltrate or you will find no color of lymphocytes no color of lymphocytic no color of lymphocytic infiltrate so this is a example of naked granuloma this is a example of naked granuloma which you see in sarcoidosis right which you see in sarcoidosis right so this is naked granuloma of sarcoidosis right now you can see there is a uh, one more granuloma this is the different kind of granuloma where you can see all these eosinophilic areas what i am marking all these eosinophilic areas are necrotic area because of the because of the neutrophil enzymes due to neutrophilic enzymes so because of this necrosis and you can see the pattern of necrosis if you observe the pattern of necrosis you will observe that these are like a star shape these are like a star shape so that is why it is also called as stellate granuloma this is also known as stellate granuloma and stellate granulomas are seen in stellate granulomas are seen in 
cat scratch disease right so it is seen in cat scratch disease there is a another different granuloma this granuloma is the autopsy of the brain so what is so shown here it's an example of field stain it's an example of field stain and you can you can see this is the blood vessel right so in this field stain you are observing this is the blood vessel this is the blood vessel and inside the blood vessels these are a small round ring like structure these are the rings of plasmodium falciparum so these are rings of plasmodium falciparum and this special type of granuloma is called as dirks granuloma this is called as dirks granuloma which is seen in cerebral malaria which is seen in cerebral malaria right so these are three special types of granuloma we have seen just have a quick look on these things so these are three types of malarias uh, three types of granulomas we have seen special naked granuloma seen in sarcoidosis remember scanty lymphocytic infiltrate or no color of lymphocytic infiltrate then second type of granuloma we are seeing here is a stellate granuloma stellate granuloma neutrophil abscess is there and that is why there is a star shape appearance and these are seen in cat scratch disease when you are seeing your brain autopsy and blood vessel is showing uh, full of rings of plasmodium falciparum this will be dirks granuloma which is seen in cerebral malaria right so friends keep in touch and my best wishes for your exams all the best